I have studied the subject of God's power by the privilege of God's grace. I've had the honor of seeing his power in my life, seeing his power in the lives of people. And so I know a bit about what the power of God can do and the dynamics of his power. I'm going to tell you a few things that will prepare your heart. Number one, God does not have authority. God only has power. <laughs> authority, the nature of authority is that somebody higher than you must confide it upon you. Are we together now? There is nobody who has authority who does not have someone above him. You have to be under authority to be able to have access to authority. Are we together? Number two, all authority is jurisdictional. The moment you give people authority, you have to define the limits of their operation. There cannot be authority without jurisdiction. So, the president of Nigeria has authority because theoretically speaking, democracy confers authority upon him within the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Are we together? Immediately he moves outside of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He may be a distinguished citizen, a respected elder statesman, but not a president. Are we together? Any and all immunity that comes with that office, it will usually cease to operate outside of that jurisdiction. So when you say god has authority what you mean is someone has limited the operation of his power jesus only spoke about authority when he as god became a man are we together now then he says all authority and power because men do not have absolute power let's leave that for tomorrow men do not have absolute power our power is defined and it is limited that is why it can increase and it can decrease are we together now yes the bible says i have spoken once and twice have you heard that power belonged to the lord the earth is the lord's everything that has to do with power god does not only have all power he is the exclusive owner of all power it's not him and someone else it's not him and satan it's not him and kings it belongs to him it is his property are we together now yes god only gives and confers authority he himself i would think i was preaching it was in portacot or so and i said some of these things sometimes i'm afraid to share some of these things believers need to know but my fear is that sometimes believers don't stay to understand they just get it as a revelation and then jump around and confuse themselves and others but if you really understand what i'm telling you there is profound power your faith will skyrocket when you know this there are certain things that is not is not god is not limited by them for instance god does not obey no obedience demands that you must take instructions from someone god was willing to submit himself if he found someone higher than him but having nobody the bible says he swore by himself is that in your bible yes so the concept of obedience is for men are we together now yes there is nobody for him to obey it's not that he's a rebel if he found someone greater than him he would gladly obey but the trouble is that there is no one he's the only one in his class do you know what that means that means it does not matter who talks to you when god speaks the reason why his word is final is not because he's the greatest it's because he's the only are we together i can tell i i don't want to bore you with judicial systems but in in the judiciary there is what we call jurisdiction a customary court or a high court can pass a verdict and the person can be dissatisfied with that verdict are we together and move to a higher court the highest being the supreme court am i right on that and when the supreme court makes a declaration whether you agree or not within the context of where you live it is over am i right on that so when god speaks that's why sometimes 
you think he's delaying he's allowing every other thing to speak because it doesn't matter how long and what they have said hmm. hezekiah received a prophecy by a genuine prophet is that in your bible high court came by the spirit and said listen god told me to tell you you will not recover hezekiah said i respect your office you go and he turned his face to the wall he said i have to appeal this case oh god remember remember it's in your bible as soon as he spoke god instructed the same man he said return back and tell him i not me and you now i have decided as the supreme ruler of the universe to add your days let me speak to someone i don't care who has said what i don't care how long it has been said I come in the name of the highest, the greatest, and the only. And I decree and declare at this Oasis conference, every speaking that is not of God is cancelled now. 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 Hallelujah. If someone says you will not rise, and you start crying is disrespect unto god are we together if someone says you will never carry your children and you say see what they said no let every man let god be true and every man i respect doctors and i love them they have said you don't have a womb congratulations let's go to god if god says you don't have a womb then we'll join you and cry but for as long as god has not spoken listen listen as we begin to pray everybody you are going to carry your report in your mind and bring it before the judge of all the earth this is what life has said what do you say this is what my job has said what do you say this is what my health has said what do you say someone say father your word is final over my life say it again father your word is final over my life go ahead and begin to pray your word is final your word for my lifting final your word for my rising final your word concerning long life final your word concerning my prosperity final your word concerning my deliverance final someone pray final final by the hand of god final hallelujah hallelujah listen it was customary for prophets in those days that when they came to stand before those who god sent they never said hear me they would say hear ye the word of the lord hear ye because if you hear the man the man is limited are we together but it says hear ye including the earth O earth hear ye the word of the lord can we pray for two minutes you're going to mention everything that has refused to hear you tell it it's all right to not hear me but this night hear ye the word of the lord is all right i prayed from january till november and i asked you to hear me and you did not hear me but now at oasis conference hear ye the word of the lord someone declare finances hear ye the word of the lord my destiny hear ye the word of the lord my liver my kidney hear ye the word of the lord my job hear ye the word of the lord someone is praying don't be silent you're not wasting your time hear ye the word of the lord
Hear ye the word of the Lord. 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 Pray for your children. Declare the word upon them. Declare the word of the Lord upon them. Declare it upon your ministry. No smallness. In the name of Jesus, I will multiply them. They will not be few. I will glorify them. They will not be small. Don't be tired. Pray. Now take up a lot of sovereign to get back to the record. the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus hear ye the word of the Lord unbelief give way unbelief give way the master speaketh God almighty speaking in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I hope you are not tired I'm going to lead you to do a prophetic action huh you're going to face the north you're going to face the south you're going to face the east you're going to face the west and you're going to make declarations hear ye the word of the Lord that everything that must be drawn by the hand of God to step into your destiny wherever it is in the name of Jesus we call upon the fountains in the spirit it must locate you are you ready now I don't know which one is north and south from where I'm standing but find your north and south and east and west in any case in the name of Jesus hallelujah maybe you follow my direction anywhere I turn whether it's your east or my west the most important thing is the four cardinal points prophetically they must hear listen in Ezekiel 37 it says speak to the four winds and says oh wind breathe upon these that are slain are you ready now you're facing me whatever direction say father let your hand bring to my life every blessing every prophecy made for me meant for me in this season stretch your hands towards this direction and begin to pray Ah, prophetically, may the hand of God gravitate towards my life. May the hand of God gravitate towards my life. Someone who is tired and angry at where you are, make sure you pray. Father, let prophecy come. Let blessings come. Let liftings come by the Spirit of God all that it takes for my excelling in this season may your hand bring it to my life hallelujah are you ready we'll turn this way now wherever that means to you don't think you are being childish you just believe the simplicity and the foolishness of the prophetic say father i decree and i declare all that is made for me all that is meant for me Gravitate towards my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Gravitate. Gravitate towards my life. Towards my destiny. By the Spirit, I speak to the wind. 
flow in the name of Jesus towards my life, towards my destiny, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Flow. Flow. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. The Lord is ministering to me. There is someone by this prophetic act. Before this year runs. Property. God is going to bring it to your hand. And listen. If God does not speak to me. I have no business telling you. What God did not tell me. With the simplicity. Listen. I will explain to you what you are doing. This is how Abraham took possession. He said, Abraham, lift your eyes. Turn northwards, southwards, eastwards, westwards, as far. Provided your eyes can see it. Whatever is yours in that direction comes to you. Now you're going to turn. Next position. Are you ready now? Say, O F, I decree my portion of inheritance my portion of lifting my portion of blessings locate me now go ahead and pray oh hear ye the word of the lord in the name of jesus by the hand of god the earth is a universal point of contact every man's feet touches the earth your helper's feet is on the earth your lifter's feet is on the earth God walks through man. Oh, earth, bring to my destiny the helpers of war. Bring to my destiny. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready? Turn to the final direction. Say, Father, I decree the favor you have planted. Let it locate me by your hand. Go ahead and pray. Favor, I call it forth. The help of men. Access to resources. Access to the hearts of kings. By the hand of God. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Shadegebereketes. The hand of God. The hand of God. The hand of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you can turn now. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. Thank you. We are very, very appreciative of your presence in this community. This is a community of believers. We are here to enlighten ourselves through the word of God, through practical life applicable teachings. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. If you have not liked this video, please just take two seconds and just hit that like button and share this video with others to bless someone just as you have been blessed by this video. It's, it's only God that can do the impossible. And when you are faced with impossibility in your life, the only place to run to, the only person to run to, is God. And that is why we encourage ourselves to keep studying the Word of God, to keep praying, fasting, to keep meditating on the Word of God so that God will come through for us. Have a nice time. God bless you. See you in another of our video. And there are so many videos that we have posted so far. Go through our channels. Go through our channel and check on our videos and see how impactful they are going to be in your life thank you god bless you keep shining for jesus keep shining for god peace